exclusive live radar tracking storms so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. Overall, a pretty nice day. We need the rain though, and it's another dry day, and it looks like a string of dry weather days continuing in our forecast through much of the upcoming week. The view right now, eastern Tuscaloosa County, and you see a few clouds overhead, but a good amount of sunshine will remain that way through sunset. A mainly clear sky overnight tonight. It's still a very warm 85 in Birmingham, 88 this first day of October in Tuscaloosa, 86 Gadsden, 82 degrees in Coleman. So planning ahead overnight tonight, temperatures fall down through the 70s. will settle likely into the lower to mid 60s in most communities early Monday morning. Tomorrow afternoon back up middle to upper 80s for a high temperature, a mainly sunny sky, another dry day. You can see some of the clouds out there this afternoon. They're moving from the northeast down toward the south and west. They'll fade away likely over the next hour or two as that sun begins to set. And again, we're looking at clear conditions overnight tonight. So the drought monitor continues to show, especially western half of Alabama, abnormally dry. That's going to continue to likely build and worsen over the coming weeks. Just not a lot of rain in the seven day forecast and Climatologically speaking, this is the driest time of the year. October on average is the driest month in Birmingham, much of central Alabama with the dry air in place over the coming days. No chance for rain. Now, as a cold front, the one that we've been talking about starts to organize back to the west. We'll start to see some moisture increase and it does move our way for Friday. But unfortunately, just not enough upper level support with this frontal system to really get good moisture and elevated rain chances in the forecast. So you see the rain that tries to head our way and just kind of fizzles out. So we'll put some shower chances in the forecast for Friday. Unfortunately, though, it just doesn't look all that great before the drier air comes racing in and we see the coolest weather we've seen so far this season moving in behind that front for next weekend. So this is the five day rainfall total map. As you can see, maybe a couple of drops through October 6. That's through Friday. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too promising for rain in that seven day forecast. So there you have it still warm, still sunny, dry through much of the upcoming week. That front approaches bringing perhaps a chance for a shower or two on Friday. Look at next weekend, Ryan highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. 